Hey, it's Nabila with the BPBR and today we are going to talk about hotspots in a virtual tour. Hotspots are very important in a virtual tour. They are pointers that indicate different areas in a virtual tour that your audience can use to interact, to learn additional information with text, images or even videos. That's right. In fact, you can use hotspots to navigate different areas in a virtual tour. So let's say you want to add 360 panorama images in your virtual tour. So what you can do is add hotspot to connect those images so that your audience can use the hotspot to navigate from one place to another very easily. So in today's video, I'm going to show you the free and pro hotspot features in WPVR. So let's begin. use both the free and pro plugin of WPVR in order to add hotspots in your virtual tour. So first, I'm going to show you how you can add a hotspot to your free WPVR plugin. So as you can see, this is a virtual tour that I created with a 360 panorama image of a hotel. Now I'm going to go back to my backend and I'm going to add a hotspot to this specific virtual tour. So let's go back. Now this is basically the backend settings of my virtual tour. Now what I'm going to do is go to the hotspot tab. So let's go here and let's say I want to add a hotspot to this bed. So what I'm going to do is click on the bed and you can see that the pitch and yaw of this specific area has been updated here. So basically what the pitch and yaw is, is the coordinates of the specific area that I clicked upon, all right? So if I click on the arrow button here, then you can see the pitch and yaw has been copied under the pitch and the yaw section on the left automatically. Now I have to give it an ID. So let's say I want to give the ID bed and I want to keep the hotspot type as info hotspot. Now let's scroll down and add some content to this specific hotspot. All right. So what I'm going to do is click on the on hover content field and then give it a title. Let's say bed. First, let's preview the tour. So if I preview the tour that you can see that in this specific area, the hotspot has been added. So if I hover on this, you can see that the content has been updated as well. So what I'm going to do is click on update and then go to the front end and refresh the page. So if I do that, you'll see that my hotspot has been added here. And if I hover on it, you can see that the content is showing as well. So here are some of the ways you can use different type of contents in your hotspots. So using the WYSIWYG editor in WPVR, you can add two types of content. So the first one is the on-click content and the second one is the on-hover content. Now you can also add a URL to your virtual tours. If you use the URL field here, you won't be able to use the on-click content here. But if you want, you can use both the on-click content and the on-hover content together, whichever seems preferable to you. Now let me show you how you can utilize different type of hotspot content. You can use the hotspots as tooltips or you can use videos inside your hotspot to add extra information. Also, if you want to add images to your hotspot, to showcase a specific element in your virtual tours in a more interactive way, then you can also do that. So here's an example where I have added an image and also added a specific description to this hotspot. Now, if you're not interested in adding an image or a video to your virtual tour, what you can do is add a GIF to it. So now I have added a GIF to this specific virtual tour to make it more interactive without my users having to click on it. Now, if you want to navigate from one scene to another from a virtual tour, you can easily do that with the scene type hotspot. So if I click on this specific hotspot here, it takes me to this scene. And this is how you can easily navigate from one scene to another. Now that you've seen that you can add different type of content in your hotspot, with the free version, you can only add five hotspots. But with the pro version, you can add unlimited hotspot in your virtual tour and you can customize the hotspot icons in a various way. So let me show you how you can do that. Now, this is the virtual tour that I have shown you before, right? 
Now, if I go to the hotspot, you'll be able to see the hotspot we added previously. Now, what we will do is we will customize this specific icon. All right. So let's go and edit it. Now, what you can do is you can add hotspot custom icon class in order to customize it using different codes, or you can simply use the hotspot custom icon. Now, let's say you want to show the icon of a bed here. All right. So if I click on bed, you'll see the icon here and you can also customize the color. Now, let's say I want to give it a green color. So I have given it green and then if I want to animate the hotspot in which means I want it to blink while my uh, audience go through the virtual tour so that it becomes more interactive. I can also do that. So currently the hotspot animation is on. Now let me go ahead and update the tour and show you how it looks in the front end. So if I update the tour here and let's go to the page. What I'm going to do is simply refresh it. So if I refresh it, you can see that the hotspot is blinking since the animation is on. It has the icon that I selected previously and it also has the color. Now, we also have two other add-ons. The first one is the Fluent Form add-ons and the second one is the WooCommerce add-on. So this is basically how they work. With the Fluent Form add-on, you can easily add different types of forms in your virtual tour using Fluent Form. And with the WooCommerce add-on, you can use WooCommerce to add different type of products inside your virtual tour so that your audience or your customers can directly order from the virtual tour. So the Fluent Farm add-ons video and the WooCommerce add-on video is already added in our YouTube channel. If you want, you can go ahead and check it out. I'm going to add them to my YouTube description box so that you can find them very easily. That's how you can utilize the hotspot feature in WBVR in order to make your virtual tours more interactive and engaging. I'm attaching the doc link in the description box. You can go ahead and check it. Until then, take care.